Hey, how are you all? It's Rob Wynn here from Learn Breezy English and I am here to give you a few phrases today that are actually from, well, one of them I thought of uh, when someone was talking about recording a program. So, young people today, when they think about recording a TV program or something on TV, they would say record it because that's what you're doing. But if you're a little bit older, maybe in your 30s, you might say tape it. So it's still used today. So you do something on TV and you want someone to record it, you'd say, can you tape that program for me? Um, and if you are young, you might think, what does that mean, tape? What is a tape? Um, well, back in the day, that's another uh, kind of English phrase uh, what we say. Back in the day, it just means like a little while ago, maybe 10, 15 years ago, we used to record things on tape recorders. And uh, these were quite um, quite chunky uh, plastic um, things. I haven't got one, believe it or not, because they're obsolete now. No one uses them anymore. Although some people probably do still use them. Um, people that like to live in the past, there's many people that like to live in the past um, across the world and they might still use tape recorders. But I'm going to show you <coughs> this because I saw this, this is my, um, uh, my remote control for my, um, my radio and this is quite small clearly but let's, you see how big that is, let's say it was not quite twice the length of this, but maybe two thirds of the length of this. And it would be maybe, yeah, twice as wide. And the depth would be probably yeah, twice as deep. And that would be the size of a tape. And these are tape recorders. So when you wanted to record a TV show, you'd have to put the tape in, your tape recorder, and press record. And then we'd say, you know, if you want something recorded, you'd say, tape it, can you tape it for me? And they still use this today. So I just thought I'd share that with you. If you ever heard someone saying that, or if you were in Britain or in America or somewhere, or speaking English, and you wanted someone to record something for you, you could say, can you tape that for me? And they'll know what you mean. There's a few others I want to tell you about because I thought, well, this there must be more where you're using kind of old phrases that aren't in use anymore, or they are in use anymore, but they're from a long time ago. Um, and I was looking at this website, which I'm going to share with you. I'll put it on the on the Instagram and on the uh, YouTube as well. Oh, and if you are watching this on YouTube, please do subscribe. Um, it's got hardly any subscribers, so. <laughs> You know, that'd be good. Um, so have you ever heard this before? Someone getting their just desserts. Just desserts. And that's spelt D-E-S-E-R-T-S. -E which is the same as a desert. A place with lots of sand. You know, Sahara Desert. Um, but it's actually pronounced like desserts, which is what we would call a pudding or after dinner sweet but it doesn't mean any of those things just desserts is actually from it says from a an old french word for deserve so if you deserve something if you deserve some sort of punishment or someone's due do you know that if you get your due d u e that means you get what you deserve you get your comeuppance and that's what just desserts means. So you could maybe say that about someone when you're speaking English. If somebody gets what they deserve, you can say they got their just desserts. And there's another one I found actually, which was really interesting because this is um, umbrage. You may not know this umbrage. So if someone um, takes umbrage, it means they have been offended by someone. You take umbrage, and that's how we use it now. 
but it's actually from an old French word, ombrage, um, which means shade or shadow. And interestingly, nowadays, people do say someone's thrown me shadow, they've thrown shadow, which means basically the same thing. But that's quite a new comment. I haven't really heard that before. I think that's what the youth are using these days. Ah, oh, he's been throwing some shade. That's what they say, right? Um, but that's why I found it quite interesting because it's actually from back in the day, long, long time ago, French word. Um, but now, yeah, it means to give umbrage was to offend someone, so to throw shade. And uh, it's gone cir it's circular, so it's come back. And the youth are using it with throwing shade. So I thought I'd share those those few words for you, and um, hopefully I've taught you something there. Do subscribe, of course, and uh, follow, and all that, all that jazz. And the website, hopefully, learnbreezy.com, will be open soon. Um, I need to do some recordings, and my mic isn't working that well, so maybe you can hear me well, maybe you can't. I think it's okay. Um, listen with headphones. And it's much better, okay? Alright, have a good day, and uh, yeah, do check the messages on Instagram as well. Bye-bye.